Hey guys, there ended up not being much of a farm video today. Today was a rain day and uh, we ended up spending most of the day doing paperwork and office, working around the office. So uh, instead you're getting a truck video today. Hey guys, we uh, we got rained out of the fields yesterday and uh, had quite a bit of rain overnight. So I thought I'd finally get around to making my truck video. I've had a lot of requests and comments on it. So we'll start out with the truck. Uh, the truck is a 2004 Chevrolet one ton single wheel Duramax. Uh, I found this truck in 2016 uh, when I found it, it had 58,000 miles on it. So, seeing that low mileage, and I, I wanted to, I went and got it the next day as soon as I could. Uh, it is a, it's not an LT model, which would have been the stock leather seats and all that stuff. It is a, the LS model, but I added. Leather seats, added a backup camera and a few other goodies. Uh, the uh, truck is stock except for a 5 inch exhaust and an air box. Um, about a year after I bought the truck, I was at the farm show in Louisville, Kentucky, the National Farm Machinery Show, and I seen the North Star service bodies. And I liked the way they looked, I liked everything about them except for the fact that they were steel. I was kind of worried about them rusting out, so that began my quest to see if I could find an aluminum bed that was the same kind of style. The North Star bed is very similar to this, except it does come back a little further right here, this box right here it does, which I had concerns about pulling a gooseneck or a camper, and uh, I wasn't real sure if it was going to be the right fit, and the steel really worried me. So in my search after that, I ended up, uh, at one point I was going to put an aluminum flatbed and deck it out with uh, toolboxes. Well then I finally found Hughes Equipment. They're a small uh, fab shop out of Mount Vernon, Ohio. Uh, I believe the owner Todd Hughes used to work for uh, Royal Beds. They make service beds and whatnot. And uh, he start, he went out on his own a few years ago, after, or a few years ago. And he, he is who makes this bed. Uh, it is 100% aluminum. And it is, I believe this one is called the Utility Hauler Model. It is uh, built, purposely built lower right here to be able to pull a, like a horse trailer or a gooseneck trailer. He wasn't real sure about a camper, but I have a fifth wheel camper and it pulls it just fine that way. There's no clearance issues. But uh, I guess first we will start off uh, by going around the truck. This first box here, this is where I keep most of the main tools. This, uh, this box also, uh, I had drawers put in it. This is an option. They do not come with drawers. The only thing you get with it without any of the options is you get a shelf. I had the shelf put on the top so I can stack stuff on top of the drawers. This is a four drawer set. I keep uh, screwdrivers, pliers, and everything in this section. I just have a cheap tray from Menards separating Phillips from regular screwdrivers. Down here, I have not found any good way to separate metric from standard riches that is space efficient. I mean, I can't set them out like I would like in here. There's just not enough room. And uh, I also got my swivel, 3-8 swivel sockets in here just because it's the only place I could really put them. Next drawer down, I have 3-8 drive sockets, quarter inch drive sockets, and I also have all my ratchets and extensions in here. On the next drawer down, these are all my half inch impact sockets, standard and metric. And at the bottom of the uh, box, just have a few random things, things that won't fit in the box, hammers, uh, I mean there's pry bars, boxes of uh, fuses, bits, drill bits, stuff like that. But I also had put in an inverter here. It is controlled from the cab. I can turn it on and off. It runs, uh, runs off the truck battery, but it does shut off as soon as you turn the truck off. But with this, I'm able to do things like charge a Milwaukee battery. It's sitting right there, which is pretty handy. On top of the box, I just have some odds and ends things. Flashlight, punches, gloves, Sharpies. Just all the little things like that. Also, I had, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I had this uh, truck equipped with lights. Um, I like them very much. There's a switch for them here, and there's also a switch in the cab. There's my cab switches. I've got uh, lights, strobe lights, which I had put on it, and I also had work lights put on it. 
the work lights are are just the reverse lights they are led reverse lights and i asked them could we put that on a switch to where if i'm working on a piece of equipment that i can flip that and light up what's behind me so they did that for me as well but the lights i we don't use, i don't use them very often but when i do use them i'm very thankful i have them all right moving down to the next box this is where i keep all my power tools I always carried my impacts with me before I had this bed, but uh, now that I have all my power tools, I'm, I love it. I couldn't imagine not having them. Things like a power circular saw, you wouldn't think you would need that very often, but man, it's handy when you do need it. Or like a 18 volt leaf blower, use that all the time, especially in harvest. In this compartment, I keep things like grease, oil, um, starting fluid, paint, Funnel, antifreeze, got a bottle jacket in there, some more swivel sockets, grease gun, uh, just things like that. And moving around here to the other side of the truck, this is kind of where I keep my towing equipment, uh, tow straps, hitch receivers, and then also jumper cables. And then bolts bolts and parts this is the bolts and parts bin i've just got these uh these removable trays it's not the easiest way to find things i'm sure there's better ways of keeping it but it works and it's better than having to go back to the shop to find a 3 8 bolt and you can just get one out of there moving down this is uh one thing i've got a lot of questions about it's my air compressor setup uh, I believe this is called a Volt Air air compressor. This is meant to be put in the bed of your pickup. It comes encased in a metal housing. I took that off because I was putting it in the service body. But uh, it runs off a of, it runs the 12 volt of your vehicle. Uh, power wise, I mean, if you're willing to wait for it to pump up, you can do a lot of things with it. I mean, we've done anything from I mean, we air up semi tires, run. Uh, I don't know. You definitely need an air tank probably to run a very big impact. But I mean, last year I had a tractor tire come off the bead and that's what we used. Cause that's what we had. I've got it hooked up to this uh, Cobalt air tank. This is just a portable air tank from Lowe's. Works fine. And then I've got a real craft 25 foot 3 8 reel. 3 8 hose reel. Um, and then this. I can attach that to the hose reel if I'm running running short and it works wonderful. The air compressor, it's uh, something else I couldn't imagine not having anymore. Uh, it's, I, I'm, it, it's awesome. My dad's had one in his truck, same company, oh, probably for the last 20, 25 years. This is getting pretty old, but it still does the job. But uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I will talk about some of the issues I've had with this bed. Their tailgate. I like the tailgate. I like that it's there's an actual tailgate. I believe most of the other service bodies didn't have a fold down tailgate, but here's the problem with it. Pretend this ink pen is a bolt. You open the tailgate, it rolls down in there, gets lodged right there. I mean, you can see. And you can't even see it when you flip it up, so you might not even know it's there. It's, it seems like it'd be a good way to bend a tailgate. Speaking of bending a tailgate, they had to re-weld the seams in this one. It started to come apart right here, started to separate on both sides. Um, I called them, called them up, and I mean they had no problem fixing it. I don't know what caused that. I, they told me this tailgate would be should handle 400 pounds or so easy. I usually don't haul a pallet or anything, so I'm not sure what would have caused that, but I haven't had any trouble with it since. That was probably, oh, about, it. it's been probably eight or nine months ago, so it's, it's been a while. I've had the truck bed for uh, just over a year now. Uh, one other option I had put on it was the uh, bed liner. Had it put on in the deck, but I also had it put up here. I would not get one of these beds without doing that just because we are always setting tools or what we're working on up here and I just seen that getting scratched to crap if we didn't do that so that's why I decided to have that done 
Uh, I mentioned I have a backup camera. It's just a cheap backup camera. That was on the truck before I had the body put on. Uh, what else? This truck does have, I think, a, I think it has all their trim packages. So you can get it without all the shiny goodies on it. Like I think the shiny hinges might be an option. The stone guard down there was an option, which I would advise as well because it does pick up stones. Or does collect uh, stones, it seems like. And there's a trim piece down here on the rear quarter that was also, I think, a stone guard or something. But, uh, yeah, overall, I love the truck. Uh, I love the truck bed. This is my daily driver. I drive this every day. Um, I wouldn't imagine going back to another truck. This One of the reasons I wanted aluminum, it costs more money, but this bed will get moved to my next truck. Um, one thing I was worried about is if Chevy changes their frame in any way, shape, or form, if I'd still be able to put this on a truck and they assured me that no matter what they do they will fab it up to fit on a new truck so as long as I get an eight foot bed single wheel truck their dualies I that's the only thing I kind of regret is this isn't a dually their dualies look awesome plus there's a little bit more room in all the boxes they flare it out to where it doesn't even look like a dually it just looks great in my opinion but, but yeah that's uh that's my truck if you got any questions uh, I guess you can ask me or it'd be better if you just called Hughes Equipment. I'll put a link to their website in the description of this video. Uh, if you call up there, you'll either talk to Julie or Todd. Just maybe mention to them that you've seen this on Brian's Outdoor videos. And um, yeah, they're great people and they'll treat you right. But hey, thanks for watching and uh, one of these days we'll get to an equipment tour.